Hey guys, it's Tyler from Nelly Security, and in this video, we're gonna open up some Uniview Fixed Lens security camera boxes and see what's inside. Here we have three of our fixed lens Uniview cameras. We have our 2 megapixel bullet, our 4 megapixel vandal dome, and our 8 megapixel 4K turret. While I only have three boxes here, keep in mind that we do have eight different models of these cameras. All three cameras come in 2 megapixel and 4 megapixel, while our bullet and turret cameras also come in 4K. All right, I got our boxes here, so let's go ahead and take a look. Now, if you're familiar with our H-series or R-series cameras, there's not really gonna be a whole lot of difference here in terms of what comes in the box. We do have our quick start guide. We also have a waterproof requirements document that just helps you make sure your cameras are good to go in terms of uh, waterproof. These cameras are IP67 weatherproof, but you still have to weatherproof the connections and such, which is why it does come with a weatherproof grommet. We have our mounting hardware here. One thing to note about the hardware, uh, it does always come with three screws and three anchors. Uh, so even for this Vandal Dome, which only requires two screws, it still comes with three, so you do have that extra screw if you need it. And we have the mounting template, which these might look a little bit different than what you're used to. Uh, in fact, the first time I opened one of these Vandal Domes, I didn't even realize that this was the mounting template, uh, and I almost ended up throwing this away, thinking it was just a scrap piece of paper. Also in the Vandal Dome box, uh, it does come with the hex wrench for removing the dome. Now, the other boxes do come with pretty much the same things inside. Here's that mounting template for the bullet. And there's the drill template for your turret, which this looks more like a standard drill template that you're probably used to. And again, both the bullets and turrets come with the quick start guide and the waterproof guide, the waterproof grommet, your mounting hardware, and that's about it. All that's left now is to look at the cameras themselves, so let's go ahead and jump right in. We will go ahead and start with the bullet camera here. As you can see, this is a beautiful camera. Uh, it's nice and compact. Um, it feels very solid. It's got a very nice uh, all-metal construction. This bullet does look identical in the 2 megapixel version, which is what this is, and with the uh, 4 megapixel version, but the 4K version actually looks a little bit different. So this is what the 4K bullet looks like compared to the 2 megapixel and 4 megapixel bullet. Let's talk real quick about this fixed lens here. Since this is the 2 megapixel model, this is a 4 millimeter fixed lens. Uh, the 4K version also has a 4 millimeter fixed lens. The 4 megapixel version, on the other hand, has a 3.6 millimeter lens. So the 4 megapixel version is slightly more zoomed out. It has a slightly wider angle than the other two. Other than those couple of differences, these three cameras are basically the same. It's got this really nice three axis adjustment, uh, and it's all controlled by this one knob. So all I have to do is loosen this knob a little bit, and we can move the camera up and down. We can rotate it this way. We can turn it this way. So this is a really nice feature of this bullet camera. The axis movement is really nice and fluid. So it's super simple to adjust with no tools necessary. And that could be a pro or a con, depending on how accessible your camera is. The exception to this is the 4K model, which has individual screws controlling each axis. And now we can take a look at this pigtail. Uh, it just has these two connections for your Cat5 Ethernet connection, as well as your 12 volt DC connection. Next, let's take a look at our Vandal Dome. And here's the camera. Compact, beautiful. This thing's super tough, IK10 Vandal proof, so it's basically indestructible. Whether you're getting the 2 megapixel or the 4 megapixel, this Vandal Dome is going to look identical. Also, both versions of this Vandal Dome do come in a 2.8 millimeter lens. So your Vandal Dome is going to have a much wider field of view than your bullet. So to get under the dome, we do have these two hex screws here. Come on, Tyler, lefty loosey, righty tidy. Just like that. 
We do have the security screw here to hold the dome in place so that you don't drop it. And here we have the camera under the dome. You can see these two screws here on the side and that's how you will install your camera. Once it's installed, you can make pretty simple angle adjustments either up and down just by grabbing the lens and pulling it. You can also rotate the lens if you need to. If you need to move the lens left and right, you will need a small and long Phillips head screwdriver to fit in there. Loosen those tension screws and then you'll be able to turn the lens left or right. Now let's take a look at the pigtail here. It does have an additional connections. Um, so you see your Cat5 Ethernet connection and your 12 volt DC connection, just like the bullet camera. But we do also have alarm in and out and audio in and out connections if you need to connect an alarm or a microphone to this camera. So that's a really nice feature with our Vandal Dome fixed lens cameras that you won't find on your bullet or your turret. So if you know you're gonna be needing a microphone or an alarm with your camera, go ahead and get the Vandal Dome. And last but not least, we have the turret. Again, just a very nice camera, uh, well-built, solid construction. The camera itself is all metal. However, this cover over the top is plastic. This camera looks the same whether you're getting two megapixel, four megapixel, or eight megapixel. Like the Vandal Dome, this turret's fixed lens is 2.8 millimeters across the board. So that's full HD 1080p, four megapixel, or 4K Ultra HD. It's all going to be that nice wide 2.8 millimeter lens. So to open this and take the cover off, you just need to turn it counterclockwise. There we go. And it just slides right over the camera like this. Underneath here, you can see the three screws, which is how you install your turret camera. We also have a tension screw on the side here. So we can just go ahead and loosen up this tension screw a bit. It frees that camera up and we can easily move it and angle the turret however we need to. Once you have the turret where you want it, tighten that screw back up, replace the cover, and again, just like the bullet, this turret only has a, a, an ethernet connection and your 12 volt DC connection. Whether you're looking for a system of cameras for your next enterprise installation, or just a new security camera to throw up on your front porch, our Uniview line of products have you covered. As you saw in this video, these cameras are tough and durable, compact and attractive. But there's so much more to show you, so be sure to stay tuned because in our next video, we're going to be installing these here at Nelly Security, and I'll show you what these cameras can do. In the meantime, if you're interested in checking out these cameras for yourself, head on over to www.nellysecurity.com. Under video surveillance, click on Uniview. Uniview, better security, better world. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this Uniview Fixed Lens unboxing video. This is the second video in our Uniview Fixed Lens camera series. If you'd like to see the rest of the videos in this series, feel free to click the thumbnail on your screen now. If you want to be notified the next time we upload a video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell down below. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.